Hey everyone, so uh, I'm just going to do something a bit different today. What I want to know is, is if after uh, the two years or whatever it's been that I've been running this hydroelectric, has, uh, has the pipe become blocked in, in any way? So I'm going to get in here, use this as just an access point, and uh, sweep out some of it with just some drain rods and see what sort of build up we've got. If there is significant build up, we'll put a pig down the whole line. A pig is a brush, you shoot down the whole thing if it's there, if there's build up. If there's not, we won't worry about it. But we'll, uh, We'll see, so I'm going to, let's say, use this uh, stand pipe as an access port. Oh, it again. We'll see what sort of, uh, what sort of stuff comes out of it. Hopefully I can get these in there. See it a bit better. Not sure I'm going to be able to do that. Oh, yeah, there you go. A little bit of stain could come out. Need a few more down there. It doesn't seem very significant though. I'm not sure it's worth uh, cleaning the whole thing for. I don't know how much that is in there, but uh, if it equated to a millimetre on each side of the pipe, it would actually end up being, you know, two mil loss, which would make a difference. It wouldn't be much of a difference, granted. This is my last rod. Let's uh, pull it all out. See what happens. One. Two. Three.
So just uh, let the water back through again. Um, this is how the standpipe works, by the way. Obviously, there's normally a pipe sticking up here. Um, and because of that pipe, that pipe, the top of that pipe is higher than the intake, which is just there. And that allows the air to get out into that pipe as, as it's doing now. You see all that air coming out. It'll bubble a lot. But that allows that air to get out um, without it firing out the top of the pipe because the pipe is higher than the intake. And it means that the air doesn't need to bubble out of the intake and prevent the water coming in. So that's how the uh, standpipe works. I just can't decide whether to uh, take off this fitting. We're down by the turbine house. Take off that fitting there. Put some kind of like deflector or something and send a pig down it or whether it's uh, not worthwhile. It will make some good content for the video, that's for sure. Um, I'm just not sure if it's needed at the moment. But it will also give me a good gauge of where, how often I need to do it, because it's, you know, do I need to do it yearly or two yearly or five yearly? So I might just do it, it's a nice day. And I'm just worried about getting the pig stuck down the pipe, it's the only concern. Should we have a go at it? Ah, uh, yes, do it. Alright, let's drain this first. This will be quite fun. Oh, good work. That's the pipe draining. We we'll leave that doing that. Take that fitting off go up to the top and uh, send a pig down it, see what comes out this end. Right, so this can be our design for a pig. I just cut a drain rod and a drain brush, put a piece of rubber there, and I'm gonna squeeze that in there like that. So the water will be able to get through this one, so we'll have water between the two brushes, uh, but this should stop a lot of the flow of water getting past and force it down the thing. So we just, uh, Put a little bit of epoxy on here. It's going to be a pretty tight fit anyway. Put a bit of that on there. A little bit inside there. Press this on. This works. We use this. Uh, again every time we do it. Try and line them up a bit and squeeze. Come on. Get in that. There. there it goes. Alright, there's our pig, pipe pig. And uh, so it goes in that way like that. And then water will be able to get past these brushes, hit this rubber, force it down the pipe and brush it all out in two stages. We might even do it twice. But that's uh, the pig. Let's uh, take that fitting off, blast this down from the end. I'm also going to put string on it. I've got about 20 metres of string here. So it's going to allow me to feel how hard it's pulling. Um, so, because I don't want it to just let it go and it be stuck in the pipe, so I want to make sure it's pulling itself, and then I'll hold it, let the pipe drain, and then I'll release the string and it'll fire through with the string and everything attached. That is the plan, at least. Right, back down at the car house. Oh, falling over. Let's uh, get this fitting off. Uh, right, which way does this need to go? This to go that way. I found that a really good way of doing this is with. Um, a ratchet strap with a hook like that because you can uh, you've got to be able to get under it somewhere sometimes you have to dig out under it a little bit be able to get to one further round man that water's cold Before you say, why aren't you wearing gloves? Because I would just have cold hands in cold gloves. Come oh, on, man. There we go. Go 
it'll be nice if this is basically pointless to do on a two yearly basis very nice because it's a lot of work but uh, it's going to give me an idea I don't think it's going to tell others how often they're likely to need to do it because every system is going to be different but we'll see I'm right, carrying with this, get it off, come back to you. Right, that's off, I'm gonna try and pull this out. Oh, man. It's not gonna be easy. Just try from up here. Right, so there is definitely some, some peat build up in there, if I stick my hand in there, there is definitely some build up in there. It's not a lot, but we'll, uh, we'll see what difference it makes. Alright, a little bit of a blast screen set up. So I'm going to go up, put the pig in, film that, and then I'm going to come back down here, set the camera up, go up and then release it, and then you can watch it from down here. I think that's the best way. Alright, we're back up the top where the pig goes in. So the pig is going to go in, I won't be able to film this, I haven't got two cameras at the minute. Um, so the pig goes in, there like that, towards the back and down, and then the pressure builds up behind it, and I'm going to have this string going up through the, uh, the standpipe, and then I'm going to let, let that go down, probably for, past my first joint, which is just over, over behind me. And then once it's got all that weight behind it, we'll let the string go, we'll get blast down, and you can see what all comes out of the bottom. And it seems to be moving in there pretty nicely. I'm holding the water back, so let's, uh, let's give it a try. Take you down there, I'm going to put that in, it'll we'll blast out. Let's do it. Right, that is going to be the best spot. I can get the camera without the camera getting destroyed, so I'm going to run up and get it done. Legged it. Still missed it. Have to see what came out on the video. Doesn't look like a huge amount come out. Uh, I'm gonna run it through one more time though. Um, yeah, it didn't. It didn't look like a lot came out with it. I don't think it needs the string. It travels all the way down nicely. I'm pretty sure it doesn't need that. I'm pretty sure I can just shoot it. That's all we need on the sign blue. So we that out in a minute. I'm going to go up, run this through again. Let's see what happens. You can watch it if you want. Okay, so you had a better view there than me, but some, uh, some crap definitely still came out. So we'll go up there and do it again. It's feeling cleaner in there, there's still a bit in there though. I could have probably made this a bit more of a tight fit, but I didn't want to go, you know, risk it getting stuck. I'm going to go up there, run it through one more time, I think it'll be pretty good. Right, we're back up the top, 
there's our water coming from the intake pig so we don't actually need the uh, stand pipe or the string it works fine without it so just put that in force it towards the back and down and then push it backwards so it seals you see that it's not sealing and push it back so it seals and then hold the pressure hold the water back a little bit obviously some leaks past let it build up a massive water behind it with some pressure and then once I think we've got a sufficient amount of water it's really pushing on my fingers now and then let it go and you can listen to it slide down the pipe ready there it goes off down the hill so I'm just walking back down now we'll, uh, we haven't quite got the flow to do a full power test so we'll have to wait for that unfortunately but uh, some questions maybe, yes, yeah, so that pig is going down 210 metres of pipe. Um, we don't have to worry about the final bit down to the turbine because it narrows down there and speeds up quite a bit. So there's not going to be anything in there really. Um, and yeah, it just tells us that although we might not have cleaned it all completely because it wasn't a really tight fit in the pipe, but what it tells us is there's definitely no restrictions in there because it would have had to have moved those out of the way. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, do a full power test once we've got more rain um, and it's told us we've learnt a lot about doing that. So I'm going to get that fitting back together, get it the system bled of air and then get the uh, hydroelectric back on. Okay, and it's all back up and running, running it at 250 at the minute, um, probably go a little bit more than that but at 250 the intake never gets blocked. So if I run it 3, 300, 320 um, I'll have to clean the intake off every couple of days if I run it more than that if I run it 450 it, the intake needs cleaning a couple of times a day because it pulls the leaves right down onto it I need a bigger intake to run it at full bore all the time but yeah battery's doing well we got a bit of solar coming in it's quite nice out as you can see so uh, yeah we'll just run it 250 and uh, I'm off out I'm go and watch, uh, watch a bit of music so yeah Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.